Now, friends, this message is connected to last time we met up. We know we're having a death of old self and a birth of new. Right? And this has to do where people say, you know, we had an ego death. And and what it what it means is we're having an integration, okay? We're having an integration with our ego. Now, there's something we needed to see here. There's something without. We're finding our value without. But there's something we needed to see there. Because remember, the creator and creation, nothing ever goes to waste. We're going to use it all as knowledge, as, as experience, and as, as fuel to create and get to where we're going. So we're not going to look for our value without anymore. We're going to look for our value within. And this is connected to the hermit. And inner child healing. And what we're going to do is, we know as we discussed, we're healing ourselves to the core with the inner child, the feminine and masculine, with our connection to spirit, the divine creation, the forces of creation. And we're birthing this person. And do you see how there's the flame within the reflection? This has to do with our flame. Now, when we birth this whole new person, connected to our inner authenticity this is our inner authenticity not our outer authenticity this is our inner authenticity this is the person we're birthing anew our connection to the star healing our authentic self our authenticity from within to the core now expanded without And how we did so, this is connected to, we know, our authentic vibration, our frequency, our energy, all authentic, okay? Authentic vibration, authentic frequency, authentic energy to a whole new level. And we remember, that's why she's listening. She's not looking. She's listening. But she's, but she's learned how to listen to within. She's learned how to look within. And this is connection to the feminine. And remember, masculine, you have feminine within you. Feminine, we know we have ma you have masculine within you. And here is where it's manifested. This person is manifested from within to without. And we get to meet this person. We're in the process of meeting this person or we're going to meet this person. It depends where you're at on, on this part of your spiritual expansion. And it has to do with justice. Balancing our karmic skills, our karmic lessons, untying the karmic knots. And not being afraid of karma. Understanding it. Understanding universal principles. Understanding shape-shifting understanding our mission understanding this under you know understanding the value and importance of going from here to going within the creation of this person that's us but remember this has to do with inner child healing and then the manifestation of this person but or this part of us. I'm not going to say this person. This part of us. Okay? But when we when we give birth, it's giving birth to a baby. So we have to take care of this part of ourselves. So let's put it like this. So we're going to give birth to this part of ourselves. Okay? And this is connected to the Queen of Cups and giving birth. Okay? Which we're going to talk about within a second. How, how do you care for a baby? We're going to care for ourselves the same way we've cared for a baby because this is our chance to now live out healing from our childhood trauma and to be our parents now and work with spirit, the forces of creation and expand here. And this is this is part of our mission work and this is part of making, you know, the golden ages and making this world a better place for all. OK, so let's get on to that part. This is happening here. We're past the future 
and the present come together through the present moment. And we have the cosmic egg here, and it's about to be fertilized, okay? Through meditation. And there's, there's the full moon right there. And this has to do with the in-between. And we've been speaking about this now for the, the last few of our messages here. And the in-between is helping us to heal from the past and history, create this future, this high vibe future, and we're doing it with justice. But this is justice of the heart and, and the heart connected to the mind, the heart connected to the soul spirit expansion. This is part of our destinies, okay? And birthing this new self is part of build, the building of the future and healing from history, healing from the past. And we're going to expand with the Eight of Pentacles and we're going to get into what this means because this is one of our main activations. So we're going to put this over here. Guys, this egg was called to have it here today. And that it's uh, being very active. And here is where we birth anew. We birth this part of ourselves. Everything that we just discussed here. And remember that this is connected to our flame. And this has to do with being reflective. Right? What are we being, being within? We're being reflective. We're not being deceptive. This is twisted. We're untwisting it. And this is being able to be reflective with the Queen of Cups. And this has to do with, we know, Aries, Aries season, meeting up with working with Pisces with our Jupiter-Neptune conjunction. And the last time this happened in Pisces was in the 1800s. Very special time, and it's happening now. I was connected to the Great Renaissance. <laughs> And now we had our connection to working with the super pink full moon in Libra, meeting up with Taurus season. And that's part of this activation. Because we're about to ground it through the earth. And that's part of giving birth, okay? And we know as we found out on our last message, that the Queen of Cups is helping us to heal from our suffering. This has to do with healing to the core, healing from trauma, and birthing anew with the inner child. And that's resurrection, okay? Resurrection is healing with the feminine and masculine to help to expand this child. And we know that when we're healing with the feminine, we honor the masculine. And when we're healing with the masculine, we honor the feminine and we untwist it. But we have to heal with the inner child, the children. And here's where we're working with the forces of creation. This is part of our evolution. So what we've been in the midst of is creating the structures of the new world, healing from tyranny and tyranny, whichever way you want to say it, guys. Remember, this this was really set forth during every season is the illumination of truth and being free to speak our truths. We're no longer in silence with our truths. We're speaking them. And this is allowing us to build our legacy here the ten of discs the ten of pentacles but remember we're doing this because our path has been illuminated within this cup our purpose has been illuminated within this cup our reflections has to do with our reflections and our reflections within and birthing those reflect reflections within 
from within to without. It's part of our divine inheritance. And we know that this is connected to our Ten of Cups. And when we're building our Ten of Cups, we're working with Pisces again here. Pisces and Mars, Pisces and the Masculine, the Mother and the Masculine. And here we have Virgo, the Earth, the Daughter, and Mercury, our connection to the Lovers and Communication. So we've gone within. Okay, that's part of this healing. This is part of this expansion. Introspection, and we had we had to we had to go mad to find our great genius. Okay, I love that it's lunacy. La Luna, hello. So here we go. That's the moon. The connection to the scarab beetle, and we talk about scarab beetle spirit here much, right, guys? This is being able to use our toxicity as fuel to get to where we're going. What doesn't resonate with us shows us what it does and literally to move our shit out of the way, our dung out of the way. This is where nothing is wasted. Everything is fuel to get to where we're going. Everything is fuel for creation, okay? Things are only wasted with this artificial hack of this artificial matrix and that's where we're a virus. We're not a virus. We're creating a symbiosis pattern patterns okay activated with patterns of symbiosis this is part of building the future now this is another activation card they're sharing with me so here we have an activation card and what happened when we when we went on this journey within was we had a realization of our true self that's what we did here this is inner child healing and the inner child it's part of healing to the core. It's part of our flame. It's part of our expansion here. It's part of this. It's part of our evolution, right? Here, all, all the elements have come together, right? We have the daughter, the earth, the sun, the air, the father, the fire, and the mother, the water. That's our evolution. Now, we've activated with seed energy here. Okay? And this is part of us flowering with the cosmic flower. And now, what we're able to, to do because of this is we're able to creatively expand with our truths. And this is healing. This is where the real healing begins. And this is part of... Of our purpose and we know our purpose is connected to our ten of cups we just saw the ten of cups and this is where we literally birth this whole new person and this whole new person is connected to what we're doing here we are going to give birth to this person and we have to take care of this person from within to without so we may look like this so we're starting here we're expanding with the page of swords we saw the page of swords right right here this has to do with our vibration frequency and energy not what we look like in this mirror but who we are within and this is connected to our feelings and we birth a new a whole new person okay but we have to take care of this person because this this little baby is connected to this new person they're fragile as as strong as they are they're fragile and this has to do with the message we received. Our truth and restoring balance with the mother and father, the water and the fire, and speaking our truth, expanding with our truth, is connected to our heart and the inner child. And now, guys, this is everything we've just discussed within these two oracle cards, okay? This is everything here. This is all of it. And this was activated with the portal we spoke about. Where we went from the three of wands, right? To the four of wands. This was activated from within to without. And the moon allowed us to, to heal to the core and find balance find the center point 
and that's connected to the six of cups the six of cups is connected to the center point and inner child healing healing from the seven of swords we're going to do that with alchemy of the cups and we're going to move forward we're going to move forward now this is part of another activation card they're sharing with me we're going to move forward because we've learned how to create with our truths and it's connected to the emperor Aries season look this is their truth this is the truth between the masculine and feminine and the inner child working with the divine manifestation healing with our sacral chakra and we've gone into this much over our last few readings manifestation with the cup connection to the two of cups our equality our equity our love and the three of cups this is our solar plexus healing we have to achieve this to heal from our separation where we feel separate with the four of cups but this is connected to the heart and this is what we're working on here with the inner child so we know we heal with the star we just saw the star the fish person this, look at how big this cup is. This cup is like a well. Okay, the mother is going to heal with us. And this is connected to working with the queen of cups, the king of cups, okay, our third eye and our crown to allow us to heal further. And this was activated with Jupiter and Neptune and Pisces all working together to help us to heal from the devil energies and shifting from this cup to this cup root chakra earth star connection so we went within the underworld and we worked with scorpio which is also we know working with the cups and we expand with cancer because we're healing from emotional imprinting emotional wounding okay now when we shift and do alchemy of the cups and heal with the mother this is connected to our ten of cups and remember this is our purpose and this is being able to heal with our solar plexus and this is personal empowerment and this has to do with this message where without is not our value okay where within is where our true value lies and this puts us in manifestation mode because we've healed with our sacral chakra and we found that out that's part of what the queen of cups is helping us to do activating the princess of cups remember the energy of youth the energy of youth right temperance helping us to ground all of this and this is connected to our two of cups and the time we're in right now the hierophants is connected to the lovers our third eye activation the matter the feminine the 13 spheres of knowledge connected to the energy the masculine we're expanding it we're having a third eye activation and it's connected to our love and here we're working with our crown and our third eye now this is also part of our activation okay and it's understanding the healing that we've been working on here the healing that we've been working on here is connected to healing from lust the lust templates feeding off our impulses and stimulus that's lower vibrational and this has been causing conflict of the mind because this is not of the heart this is not of love this has been causing conflict of the mind and making us feel remember i want to say this is of love Okay, this is not of love. So remember the Hierophant is illuminating this for us. And knowing that this is causing conflict of the mind because it's not of love, it's of lust. And it's making us feel like we're disconnected. We're disconnected from expanding 
through the earth here. And remember, this is part of solar, our solar plexus. That's why we're working with our solar plexus right now. It's being, it's being illuminated. They're sharing with me, this is, there's a laser focus right now on the Three of Cups, Ten of Cups connection to the Four of Cups. Remember where we shift with our heart. Okay, and that is, that is, the Four of Cups is act, healing from separation is allowing us to expand with the child. So we've restored connection. And this now has to do, remember, with healing with time. The past and the future coming together through the present moment. We're going to heal with time. And we're going to surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If the goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. So we're going to do this because we've healed from our disconnects. We've healed from this. We've connected. We're going to trust divine timing. And this activates Angel de la Nu. This is a main activation as well. So we're going to put this over here. That's the Angel of Night. And we know because we're doing all this work. This is now manifesting through the earth. With our karmic scales balance. The expansion in our life with creation. As we've healed with time, we've healed with lust. Laser focusing on these templates. Guys, we're laser focusing on this temp these templates, our team. And this is part of the cosmic flower. This frequency activates the remembrance of the place we call home, the core from which we pour our magnificence out into the world. And we know we've just seen all this. And what this is doing is this is honoring all this work we've done with our sacral chakra now. Because we know our solar plexus is connected to the sacral. And this has to do with our depend the dependability of our love and coming together. And guys, we're seeing this. We're seeing this. Right? And being able to nurture. Being able to nurture that little baby, that part of ourself. Being able to nurture each other. Being able to nurture in this world. Being able to nurture with the forces of creation. And that's connected to Lady's Mantle. And we received this last time. This is working with water, the mother, in dew. And that dew has has spent time in alchemy with the plants and the sun and the elements. And we remember, we, we got on this message that we were giving birth. And look, we found out that Lady's Mantle is connected to the feminine, the vagina, and giving birth. This is lit, guys. This is lit. And now what they've shared with me is it's connected to the Eight of Pentacles. Remember, this is one of our main activations. And this is the Eight of Pentacles. And I didn't even put any of this together until we were getting ready for this reading. And our message. This is the person we're growing into, what we're growing into, the energies that we're working to grow with, okay, guys? And the message of it. Let's get it. Eight of Earth. Keywords. Growth, manifestation, accomplishment, success, abundance, wealth, and appreciation. And we know we, are, we, we got the message we're very close to meeting our goals. And now we're doing so. And we know as this is connected to the cosmic flower, it's about growth. And I really love that it's about appreciation, guys. What a positive charge. Key phrases. Success, wealth, and love. Do what you love. Love what you do. Make plans for the future. A time of abundance ahead. And this is right on target with the seasons, the shifting of the seasons. From spring to summer and the harvest. And we know we're planting the seeds. Confidence in a future outcome. Do not rest on your laurels. 
Money does not buy happiness. Lose the lack mentality. And that's key. That's key within this shift. We're going to lose the lack mentality. This has to do with being able to be the positive in the negative. Be the higher vibes. Expanding from the lower vibes. The eight of earth symbolizes success, wealth, and love. The manifestations of a positive attitude, doing what you love and loving what you do. This is a very optimistic card, one that suggests a time of abundance, fruitfulness. Oh, I love that word, fruitfulness. And a good harvest ahead, a peaceful, happy home, career, confidence, the respect of your peers. What more could you ask for? All the seeds born of past planting are growing well, and you can be confident that the outcome you need will manifest. This can also be a good time to think about taking that next big leap rather than resting on your laurels. You have it within you to go further and reach greater heights if you desire especially if you remain committed to doing everything to the best of your ability. And we have to remember too, this even means resting, making time for rejuvenation, honoring the feminine, creating time for intimacy. The eight of earth signifies a time to look, acknowledge and celebrate your successes, and perhaps to start making new plans for the future as well. So there's a potential blockage though with this. As with everything, right guys, it's always a challenge. Do you find yourself looking at life through jaded, cynical eyes? Are you currently blind to the wealth and abundance you already have in your life? And boy, is this ever the time that we're in. If so, the Eight of Earth cautions you against those negative thoughts. See the value of or appreciate what you have in the present. How will things be different in the future? And see how the past and the future have come together through the present moment. And this is not being granted more. This is being thankful for what we have, where we're at. If you are only after financial reward or status, you may discover the truth in that old saying. Money does not buy happiness. While it's true that money can sometimes bring more freedom and security, embracing a lack mentality will keep you focused on what you do not have instead of what you do. And we know we're going to manifest what we're in the energy of. We don't want to manifest more lack. This is a time of growth. And also being the positive charge and being thankful, gratitude, right? Do you want to be rich or do you want to be wealthy? Take a look around you. You might discover that you already possess priceless treasures if loss can never be replaced. And this is where we heal from the monetary system. This is part of mission work. This is part of where we heal from luxury and the separation that luxury causes us. In you know, thinking that we need to have all these things in order to be happy, but seeing that we have everything we need. And it's love. Guys, it's love. I know that one of the biggest things that allowed me to shift during my awakening was I lost my home and I bought my dream home. And I was devastated. But right after that, I lost my dog, who was my best friend, and then my father. And my grandfather, all within a period, you know, a period of time that, that wasn't very, you know, it was all connected. And I could buy a new home. I could never replace the people that I lost, the loved ones that I lost. And when my, my father died, I mean, that impacted me greater than anything. That was my biggest fear coming true. And when that happened, being able to face all those fears and being, you know, being living fearless and understanding what that truly meant. And even finding the positive within that, you know, I, as much as his death 
has hurt and it and the pain and you know losing someone we love i'll never take away the happiness of his death story i'll honor it and what it taught me and it taught me so many things and this is where going back to nothing is ever wasted it's all perception it's all in how we look at it and this is shifting all right guys let's expand off this in our next part i love you all i'll see you there